Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, this video is uh, going to be specifically focused on power supplies, uh, which so it'll be a pretty quick video, to be honest with you. Um, there are two options. There's the uh, 350 watt and the 550 watt. Uh, Dell spec sheet only shows the uh, 350 watt, uh, but technically the 550 watt, which we're about to upgrade this system to, will work uh, just fine. It also works for the R430 as well, okay? So what we're gonna do um, is actually remove the uh, the current 350s. We're gonna upgrade them to the 550s. Uh, and we'll just show you how easy it is to do. It's hot swap, uh, which is another question we get asked sometimes. Are you able to uh, remove a bad power supply while the server is running? Yes, that is why it's called hot swap. You can pull it out while the server is live. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's uh, flop them around right now and we'll show you uh, also the uh, two different options up close. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to show you the two options right here, the 350 and the 550. Uh, you cannot mix them together. You need to make sure whichever one you're using, both of them are the same. Uh, but here are the two options. And now what we're gonna actually do is remove the 350s from the server over here and we're gonna install and upgrade it to 550s. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade and remove uh, the current 350 watts. And again, it's really simple. You're just gonna take the orange clip, you're just gonna push this in and pull out, and it just slides right out. Same thing over here, you're gonna push this and pull it right out, nice and simple. And again, uh, you need to make sure uh, that both of your power supplies are the same. So either uh, two 550s or uh, two 350s and do not mix them, okay? So then you just slide it in and it's a very simple, uh, you just line it up and it literally just slides in. You'll see right here when I push in the orange clip's gonna pop out and back in to let you know that it's fully in. So if I were to pull it right now, it's not coming out, it's fully inserted in there. Again, I um, thought this would be a very short, uh, simple video, but wanted to show someone uh, just in case they were struggling to figure out how to get them out or how to install them or you know had any questions. So hopefully this helps someone at home. Um, if you're looking to uh, do any custom built servers yourself, we'd sure love the opportunity to uh, win your data center or your home labs business. Business, please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. We do both new and used servers, um, and we'd love the opportunity to win your business. Take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by.